After years of uncertainty, producer James Cameron has seemingly confirmed that Alita Battle Angel 2 and a third film are actually moving forward. Released in 2019, director Robert Rodriguez's Alita Battle Angel serves as an adaptation of the Japanese manga Gunnam, Battle Angel Alita in English by Yukito Kishiro. The film earned generally positive reviews and was a lukewarm success at the box office, but two planned sequels have thus far failed to come to fruition. Now, however, in a recent interview with Forbes regarding why he chose to sell his California mansion, Cameron, in his explanation, seemingly reveals that multiple Alita Battle Angel sequels are happening. The producer doesn't reveal any details or timelines, but development will presumably take place between his work on the three remaining Avatar sequels. Check out Cameron's full comment below. And on Avatar, I'm working in Wellington and Los Angeles, and on the new Alita Battle Angel films, I'll be working in Austin, so it just didn't make sense for us anymore. Earlier this year, Rodriguez revealed that Cameron had outlined general storylines for Alita Battle Angel 2 and 3. This followed several months' worth of other smaller updates and reports in which stars and creative talent expressed their eagerness to return for an additional film. It's worth noting that despite Cameron's promising comments, there have been no official announcements from Disney regarding additional Alita movies just yet. The big reason why Alita Battle Angel has taken so long to get off the ground is because the first movie, despite making money back at the box office, wasn't exactly a runaway hit at $405 million. This was further complicated by the fact that Disney later bought 20th Century Studios. The movie's strong cult following and continued enthusiasm for a sequel from audiences and stars alike, however, combined with Cameron's recent smash success with Avatar The Way of Water, lend some serious credence to the filmmaker's latest comments. Cameron's comments about Alita Battle Angel 3 are curious, as typically the green lighting of a third movie would depend on how well the second one fares at the box office. It's possible that Cameron is either very confident that the first sequel will perform, or perhaps the second and third movies will be shot back to back adopting an Avatar franchise strategy. If Alita 2 and 3 are indeed moving forward in the next few years, an official announcement from Disney shouldn't be too far away. As for the Alita 2 cast, it's difficult to confirm specific actors, but it's reasonable to assume that Rosa Salazar would return as Alita, as she has expressed strong interest in continuing the role. Additionally, Edward Norton could reprise his role as the villain Nova, and Christoph Waltz might return as Alita's father figure. Lana Condor, who played Koyami in the original film, has also expressed her desire to return for Alita 2. Jeff Fahey, who portrayed bounty hunter McTeague, provided an optimistic update, hinting at his potential return for the sequel. With these positive indications from cast members, it seems like many of the original actors will be part of the Alita Battle Angel 2 cast. The potential story for Alita 2 could focus on the titular cyborg, played by Rosa Salazar, tracking down the formidable villain Nova, portrayed by Edward Norton. Nova, being the overarching threat in the Alita franchise, survived the events of the first movie. The sequel might explore Alita's quest for revenge following the death of Hugo, a significant character in the original film. The story could delve into the mysterious city in the sky, Zalem, which was hinted at in the final shot of Alita Battle Angel. This could open up new dimensions to the narrative, uncovering secrets about Alita's past and the world she inhabits. While specific details about the Alita Battle Angel 2 story remain unconfirmed, the potential themes of vengeance, exploration, and unveiling hidden truths suggest an engaging and action-packed continuation of Alita's journey. Building a sequel to Alita Battle Angel from the source material offers a wealth of established plot lines. The comic series provides numerous issues for producers to draw inspiration from, offering a rich tapestry of narratives to explore in a potential sequel. This abundance of source material could enable the film to follow captivating story arcs and delve deeper into the intricacies of Alita's character and the world she inhabits. Alita Battle Angel has the potential to serve as a catalyst for its own cinematic universe, akin to how DC's DCEU and Marvel's MCU 
have expanded from their comic book origins. By leveraging the source material, the film could lay the foundation for a broader franchise, introducing additional characters, storylines, and interconnected narratives that contribute to the overall Alita universe. This approach could further engage audiences and create a cohesive and expansive cinematic experience. Alita Battle Angel revolves around a poignant self-discovery plot arc, portraying the journey of a teenage protagonist in a post-apocalyptic setting. Such coming-of-age narratives often aim to encapsulate a standalone, complete story, drawing parallels to films like The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Alita's character arc, centered on understanding her identity, follows the established patterns of these narratives, concluding with her not only discovering herself, but also confidently progressing in her life. The nature of stories focused on finding oneself suggests a completeness in Alita's character development within the confines of the first film. As such, a sequel may not be necessary to continue her personal journey, as the initial narrative effectively addresses and resolves the themes of self-discovery and identity. Alita Battle Angel introduces the character Nova at the film's conclusion, creating a sense of intrigue and anticipation for a potential sequel. The mysterious unveiling of Nova and the tension in the final scene, where Alita prepares to face her ultimate foe, suggest an opportunity for deeper integration of Nova into the storyline, enticing the audience with the prospect of a sequel. On the contrary, Alita Battle Angel impressively manages to tie up most of its narrative threads and loose ends within the confines of the first film. The movie successfully navigates the challenge of presenting a semi-realistic story about a battle warrior robot on a quest for self-discovery while introducing a complex world. Considering the thorough resolution achieved in the initial installment, there may be concerns that a sequel could introduce unnecessary complications and additional loose ends, potentially detracting from the coherence of the narrative. Alita Battle Angel may have tied up many narrative threads, but there are lingering questions and uncertainties that leave certain aspects of the story unexplained. A sequel could explore how she navigates this newfound confidence and faces new challenges, building upon the themes of self-discovery established in the first film. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.